good morning. It's day eight of 75 hard right now. And I woke up late, so it's six o'clock right now. So I'm not gonna be able to hit the gym before I go to school. But I need to do the last, the last thing I wanna do right now, I need to do, I need to go do a cold plunge. I really don't wanna do it, but yeah, I gotta do it. So part of the reason I'm starting up doing these very basic vlogs is because I overcomplicate things very naturally and I'm always overcomplicating what I can do. I'm over always over thinking everything. It's a bad habit that I've st really, really sunk into. And I was thinking, what is the simplest option? The simplest option for me is this vlog style of content because it's just very, very simple. And I'm doing 75 hard, so I have a title for every single one all the way through. And I just thought I would try it. And why not put this stuff out there? Because I'm perfectly fine being criticized and I'm perfectly fine um, just showing what my life is like because this is what it's like and then I'm going to be improving it constantly and the goal is to become like an elite super soldier billionaire Christian like this is what I want so I'm may as well just document the process and show people all the way along so welcome back and let's go do a cold plunge that's the last thing i want to do this is legit the last thing i want to do right now the water is going to be 37 degrees i'm going to be absolutely freezing but let's go do it all right here's the cold plunge <laughs> it's raining and freezing right now. Oh man, what do I sign myself up for? But let's do this. Let's to the next. And yes, I know I need to get a bigger cold plunge so I can get more of my body in, but I just have not been able to get one yet. Whew. But my lower torso from basically right below my chest and below gets in, and that's all I can fit in right now. But dang, Whew. that makes me feel alive, even like that five seconds in there. Man, gotta be a little taller it's again. I used to be able to do a whole lot more, but my tolerance went down a lot because I spent almost six months not doing cold plunges, but let's get ready for school and get breakfast in. All right, so you may be wondering, how does my alarm clock die and not wake me up? Well, this is why. It's because my alarm clock is this thing right here. This is my glorious alarm clock. It's called a shock clock. Um, and put it on my wrist, and to wake me up, it basically tases me five times in a row. Because I'm a very deep sleeper, and I would sleep through almost all like noise alarms. I would sleep through, we have uh, Sono speakers that would turn on, and just blare music, I'd sleep through everything. But tasing me, that wakes me up. So it died halfway through the night. I was trying to make it through, but I didn't, wasn't able to. So that's why the alarm clock died. But I'm gonna get ready for school right now. So I'm gonna put on uniform and then, so I have this problem. And I think a lot of like personal development, addicted people have this same problem because, okay, right here, I have, let's move the camera a little bit, boom. Yeah, right here, I have a huge amount of books. And 
Like, this is enough books right here, enough knowledge. Not enough knowledge. There's... We'll get into that later. But this is a huge amount of books, but I've not read all of them. I've started a lot of them, haven't read them. And the problem that I will go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between all the different books. So I need to figure out what order I'm doing them in because like, I'll start reading them. I'm like, we're going to chunk through this and we're going to get this one done. And then it's like, ooh, but ooh, I'm really, uh, but maybe it's because I'm relying too much on my feelings of what I read. Not enough discipline of reading. Yeah, maybe that's it. But let's get ready for school and sisters help me make breakfast downstairs. And then we're going to go help her out and get going. The sad thing about having school right now, because I'm still in high school. It was my, I'm a senior in high school getting done. But the sad thing about it is most of my day, so from basically 7 o'clock to 3, my school doesn't start at 7, but we go, have to leave the school around 7. 7 to 3, so that entire time, is all school. So that just takes an entire chunk out of what I could be creating, working, etc. And that's, that's like my main excuse for not having a business right now, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's not a very good excuse, but yeah. So we're gonna get ready for school and let's go. This is the uniform fit. Um, but I continued on thinking about the books and I realized I have almost 50 books on this shelf plus my other places where I store books that I want to read and understand. And there's almost 52 weeks in a year. So one book a week. But some of them are massive, so they may take longer. And books like Reality Transurfing that I have on my Kindle, those will definitely take longer. That's like an uh, 800 page book. It's massive. So those will take longer, but I want to get momentum going. So with momentum, I think I'm going to start with this one. This one caught my eye. This is called, I got like halfway through this one last time. But this is called Never Eat Alone. It is on creating relationships and networks because as I'm looking, wow, my camera was tilted. All right. As I was, as I listened to a lot of people online, they all are saying, not that, skills and then the people that you know. Those are the two most important things. And this is on the skill of people you know. So, combo of both. Uh, I'm going to go eat. So, yeah. And we're off to school. So, see you when I get back. On our way back from school, we're just arriving home. And then I have not actually done a 75 hard workout yet, so I need to do the first one immediately right now because that is extremely important to get done. The shot go to the gym? Right? I, I slept through the, oh, the yeah. shot clock, fell off, and died. So I did not have anything to wake me up. Cool. Are right, you ready to go? Yep, let's All go. All right, let's go. All right, it's time for the second work. Not second, first. I'm used to the second one being outside, but it's time to do the first workout outside. Um, gonna get it and then got a lot of homework to do gotta hit the second workout eventually but this is 75 hard it's not perfect it's like I'm not running a perfect schedule I don't have a perfect life it's kind of what these vlogs are showing because I'm gonna get huge results in the end with my life I have a lot of things I'm going to do with it a lot of ambitions and goals that I'm going to hit but I have to start somewhere and sure that this is where I'm starting from where I'm not perfectly consistent I'm struggling at things. I'm trying to figure it out and just document that process. That's the goal, but let's hit the workout. Okay, so something I've been doing in between sets. So I'll do a set and then I'll throw it with 12 knives. This is crazy though. So throwing knives, it's because I wouldn't become like elite, uh, super soldier ninja type person. I don't know exactly what to call it but basically have that and then also be a billionaire and then also be like this classy, professional, modern gentleman. So I got a lot of things I wanna do, but it's crazy because I was throwing and I got one, two, three, four, five, six out of this 12 knives into the board and that is an insane. That's the first time I've ever done anything like that. That was phenomenal, I just thought I'd let you in on that. And I'll show you a little hobby of mine, throwing knives. But I gotta get back to the next set, next set of pull-ups, so chip chop. But it kinda sucks right now that my grip is the thing that's holding me back. Like, 
I can do more pull-ups, more chin-ups, but it's my grip. It's my grip and my triceps. Got to work on those two a lot because I want to master some calisthenics stuff as well. Yeah. If you can't tell, I got a lot of different goals, a lot of things I'm aiming for. And as you can probably tell too, prioritizing them is very difficult because I want to make content. I want to make fitness work for me. I want to get pretty bit buff, have functional, so able to fight like MMA. I want to be able to do aesthetics, but I also want to run a massive businesses. I want to be good at business and entrepreneurship, but I also want to make content and content kind of feeds into all this stuff. And I also am like, right now I could make content, but that's if I'm like, should we be starting a business instead? How should I prioritize? Like, that's honestly like so much what I spent so, I spent so, so much time thinking about that, that I just decided to take action. And the thing I can take action easiest is content. So I'm just creating stuff. No one's gonna watch this stuff. No one's gonna watch these vlogs of me just doing my life right now because I'm really not that important right now. I'm me and I'm developing, but I'm making this stuff because then I get the discipline of making, creating, not consuming. Because then I also get the added benefit of getting better at content creation. I'm just getting better to talk at cameras because it's a skill, it's a skill I need to work on and grow it. And there's so many things like that, that are just taking action. I'm like, this is not gonna be perfect. These are not gonna be perfect. No one's gonna watch these really. These are just me putting in the reps. I gotta put in the reps again and again and again until I get it. That's the goal. The goal is I just need to put in the reps. This is a rep. It's one. I probably have to do millions of reps in all different spaces of life. But this is just a beginning. They have to get moving. I can't wait for everything to be perfect because if I wait for everything to be perfect, it's never going to be perfect. Yo. Just finished the first workout. It's like 5 p.m. right now, so I have to hit the second workout pretty dang late, which is not going to be good for my sleep schedule but whatever i'm already gonna mess it up a lot but so if you can tell my mind is in like a million places at once and that may be part of my problem but also maybe part of my gift so there's a lot of things i've been thinking about yeah, since you got my desk so there's a lot of things i've been thinking about recently and they're kind of all over the place well i'm constantly wondering like how can i bring more value to people online how can i make better content that people like better but then i'm constantly getting this like voice in the back of my head which i think i need to stop listening to which is like oh you don't live that life yet oh you can't advise people because you're not there you can't how can you give value right now you're just a high school student and that's a voice that's constantly in the back of my head and i have to learn to fight it so that's one thing also time management uh, that's one thing i'm gonna be completely honest time management is probably the skill that i struggle the most in right now because I, I feel like of course it's my fault i need to take responsibility for it but it's also the, the point that i'm spending like seven or eight hours a day in school and i come home and i have hours of homework because my school is not easy it's quite difficult and we have a lot of homework we need to do and if i do it is it all of it is another question but i try to get a lot of it done and then i have family which i love them but it's also they take a lot of time and I know like it's good, but at the same time, like it may not be the season for me to focus on my goals. It may not be. And then content creation takes another more time and then I need, want to learn and improve. And I want to do better and better and better. So it's just, I don't, this isn't me complaining. This is just me like stating where I'm at right now. This is my life just so that, hey, five years from now, not five years, it's not going to take that long. Well, it may, no, it's gonna, but whenever I start making success, so whenever I start accomplishing my goals, one after another, I'll be able to look back on this time and be like, this is part of the process. Like, the self-doubt and the, like, not knowing if you have enough time, if you're good enough, is 100% part of it. And that's just part of the journey. And right now, that's the stage that I'm in right now. But I'm going to push through it. And the only way to push through it is by not giving up and just continuing to take action continue for me continue creating content continue like getting whatever i've done i need to do for school and continuing studying for getting a business started for getting everything going like that's just the position that i'm in and 
I don't know if anyone can relate to that because I see all these people online and I know comparing myself to people online may not be the best approach, but they show it's possible. And that's may not be my that's not gonna be my exact life path. I'm not gonna go do the exact business models. I'm not gonna go do this exact thing. I'm gonna figure out my path. And it may take more time, it may not. So we'll see. But that's just the position that I'm in. So I gotta get to work on editing a video or two. Well, if you made it this far in the video, I'm truly surprised right now because, and I just wanna say thank you, I guess. Because like, this is literally just me processing. Because I found, I process best when I'm talking to a camera and some people do that. Like I process better when I talk to a camera. That's odd, but it's just how I operate. And so I have to talk to a camera and I have to process that way. Right now, a lot of my thoughts are directed towards the future and content creation and business. I don't know if you've heard again and again throughout this video, it's just an obsession in a way. And I love it, but I feel so restricted because today was the first day back at school after Christmas break. And oh my goodness, I forgot what it was like and Whew. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm in a very good school. A school that teaches you how to think is very, very difficult. We're engaging with high level thoughts constantly. But what I found, I should probably put a mic on. I have a mic upstairs. Wow, my mind is everywhere. Um, but my school is great. In all standards, it's great. But it just takes so much time People are like, oh, what else would we be using that time? I just think that I could go through the amount of material that we go through way quicker. So much time is wasted doing things that just don't make sense. And that may just be my perspective because I consider things waste when other people don't. I just am so tired of wasting time and I can't wait when I can control my own schedule. And that'll expose a lot in me, but I just really forgot over the break how difficult it is for me in school. Now don't get me wrong, I, get, I do decently well in school, but I'm just sitting there half the time, like completely zoned out because we're going over the same topic for like the 10th time or something. I know it's not that bad, it's hyperbole, it's an exaggeration, but it's things like that where I'll also just be falling asleep in class or I, I retain all the information. I get A's and B's, I'm fine, but it's just difficult to focus and to stay present in school. I can't work on schoolwork in school. Like I have a senior thesis I need to do and I can't work it on in school. Even though we have time allotted in school, there's just no way I can do any work in school and in that environment. I just don't work like that. I need to disappear alone. I got more work done on my thesis in a few hours at a coffee shop, so I skipped the first day of school back, and I went to a coffee shop and I just worked on my thesis. I got more work done there than I have almost the entire rest of the year up to this point. Of course, it's been research has stacked up more writing work than I think, so the previous two weeks, two, three weeks were writing weeks. I got more done in that one day at the coffee shop than I did in those previous weeks. I just work that way. And school's not how I work. And I, I gotta stop complaining because I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. And maybe more maybe I'm relying too much on my feelings, and that's why I am complaining too much. There's a lot of things going on in my head. But the part of the reason I may have already said this, I don't know how many times I'm repeating myself because this is just how my life works. I'm thinking about stuff constantly. But I'm just wondering uh, how much of this content I just I mean honest, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I used to have all like this strategic thought out plan of how to do this, that, that, and then never we never do it. So I'm switching that and I'm just going for it. Like, I don't know what the plan is for this. I don't know so much, but I'm just going for it. I'm taking action and that's so, so key, I guess, right now, because I was stuck in a, raw, a rut of planning and planning and planning. And I just need to create, create, do, 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 and I'll figure it out as I go, I guess. And, that's just a real 
that's just real right now, I guess. My, like with 75 hard right now, it's difficult now that school started because um, I was able to do this before, but get up at four o'clock, 4.30, head to the gym, go get a workout in, and then come home, eat, go to school for like seven, eight hours, come home, work out, do homework, go to sleep. That would be the routine. But I wanted to do more with my life than that. In a way, like school feels like it's blocking my dreams somewhat, but it's also like, this is just a season of life. I got a few more months left. I can push through. And yeah, it's like I love learning, but I just don't think school is the best model for me to learn. And then we'll see everything else that goes on. I gotta read my pages for today and just continue working, continue putting down foundations of knowledge, of creation, of business ideas and models and how I'm gonna do this, sales, etc. Like, oh, I need to actually go through that. I There was a Grant Cardone, his university uh, online was heavily discounted over Christmas. So I got it and I got it for one month because after that I'm not gonna be able to afford it right now because it's expensive. It's like a hundred bucks a month right now and I don't have the kind of money spending on, on stuff like that. But I'm gonna try to extract as much knowledge as I can from it before I have to cancel, unfortunately. I'll probably get it back again, but that's just the reality of life right now. And that's all I'm gonna be showing in there is just real life. Wow, it's been six minutes and 30 seconds of me talking right now. I wonder if anyone was ever gonna watch these. I guess it's the doubt coming in. But I'm gonna continue doing it and we'll see where it goes. I won't. I don't know if I'll be doing this form of content forever or if I'll change it. And I don't know that right now if I'm gonna publish on this my main channel or my side channel or when I start for vlogs or I don't know. I guess that's kind of what I'm saying is I'm in a huge place of indecision in so many areas where I don't know what's going on and a lot of it I can't control and that's kind of scary but such as life we just gotta continue moving on and continue pushing through it through the fear because fear is the mind killer i love that quote from dune yeah this is life and still got another get another workout in. it's like six or seven right now and i gotta go pick up my sister go pick up get another workout in Man, school really took up a lot of time. All right, real talk, after I finished recording that last part of the video, I sat down to read, I was like, let's do this. And then I, my body just so exhausted, I sat down and within about 30 seconds, I fell asleep and I slept for about 30 minutes and then got up, helped my family because they got back um, and then now I'm off to the gym. It's like almost eight o'clock and I'm off to the gym for my second workout. Uh, feeling a little bit sick and I know it's probably not good, but even if I do get sick, which may happen because my body for some reason times it. So I will get sick when school starts up again. It's quite, it's quite funny. This happened last year for when we came back from spring break uh, my body just got sick right after spring break and it was like oh wait break's done we're out all right great so i may be getting sick right now uh, i hope not but i kind of hope so too that's kind of the odd balance right now and if so i'm still gonna do all the 75 hard workout and everything i may go lighter i may not push the intensity but i'm still gonna get it done because the goal of this entire challenge was to force consistency. It was to where I had no excuse. I committed to something because commitment is so huge, making the decision to follow through. That's the biggest chunk that was missing in my life. So 75 Hard, its purpose was to push me, to make me consistent in the things I wanted to be consistent in, such as working out, dieting, reading, etc. Even though it's not a sustainable thing, um, I'm gonna do this challenge and then I will instantly change up my routine when it's done, but I'm going to get the challenge done. It's also for following through on what I say I'm gonna do. 
so many times I've especially especially happened a lot when I was like 13 to 15 not as much once I turned 16 and above but there would be seasons where I would just say stuff and I would never follow through and 75 hard the challenge 75 hard is so huge for me because it's following through on what I've said I would do day again and again and again until I get a desired outcome and that's just such a huge lesson for me that I am learning and not necessarily learning but more proving to myself that I can do it and and I proving to others that I have the discipline to do it it's only discipline because one thing that I wish I had more of as a child was high levels of discipline where it wasn't like I didn't have that but I had it in the areas I don't really know if I wanted discipline like we would always have family rest days which those are great and now as I'm structuring my life I do want to have one dedicated day every single week that is for rest and reflection and thinking that that day is set aside and because I think that God will bless me if I just follow that commandment of take one day off every single week even when I feel like I can't and just keep that consistent pattern so I'll be doing that but I always felt that I rested too much because it would always be Friday and then we move on to Saturday and also be part of rest and also Sunday would be part of rest I basically felt like I was resting too much and like that was a habit that I built into discipline that our family had and we spent a lot of time as a family during those times and I'm grateful for that time that shaped me into who I am but at the same time that's not how I'm gonna live so it's just completely different frames of mind I guess that I want a discipline of like physical sports athletics skill based stuff and now I'm forcing myself into that because that's what I want. I want to discipline my desires and the things I want. I want, like I described earlier, the uh, super soldier, ninja type person that is a business mogul, billionaire, and a classy gentleman uh, at the same time. Like, that's what I want. But the discipline to get what I want and like that desire, getting that outcome is so powerful to me. It's so out there that I really, that's what I want, that I'm constantly willing to sacrifice for it. But willing to and doing it is slightly different. This is, so this is something I've run into myself is I'm willing to sacrifice time with people, events, etc. But then I don't want to let down my family or a previous commitment and I will just can continue to do things that I don't necessarily like think are good or enjoyable or things like that and I'll just continue to do them because I've committed in the past to doing them or because my family tells me to and that's not me just seen or complain about my family that's just the reality of how I've always thought just my family does it. I'm under their house still. I got a few more months that I am, and then life changes, and I'm open to that change. So, yeah, I, I guess all these videos are kind of like my coming of age story. It's like this is how I'm coming of age. I'm coming of age trying to make who I am. I'm trying to figure that out because I don't think it's necessarily like you're like. Oh, live authentically to yourself who you truly are I don't necessarily like who I am right now that I think that's perfectly fine to not like who you are right now so instead of saying I'm gonna be me and I'm going to and this is how I live no that's not how I always thought I always thought this is who I am right now this is who I want to be it's who I want to be that guides my life and the type of person I want to be, not who I am. Who I am definitely informs it. Like for me, I love investing. I love business. I love fitness. I love self-improvement. I love these things that have been addicted to them for so long. 
And now it's, okay, these are things I like. Let's become the best possible version of myself doing that. And that's not myself, but that's, that's not who I am right now. That is the identity that I am creating. That is who I'm going to be, my ideal version. So I just got to the gym, it's like uh, eight right now, and oh my goodness, this is packed. There is a lot of people here, my goodness. Woo, I'm usually, so context, people are like, oh yeah, gyms are usually full. Not when I go, when I go it's 5 a.m. in the morning, the first like 30 minutes, no one's there. It's literally just me, my friend, and like, five to 10 other people, max. And then by 5.30, like, uh, let's say 10 to 15 more walking. That's a gym that I'm used to. So whenever I see, like right now, there's like mm, 30, 40 cars out here. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of people. Cause I'm used to like every single machine being open, people like headphones on, no social. That's, that's just how I'm used to the gym. So we're gonna go hit the second workout. It's currently eight o'clock. And yeah, that's the vibe right now. That's, why did you say that's the vibe? I'm trying to also work on, not trying, whoa, catching words. I'm working on the words that I say because words have power, words have meaning and they're important. So I'm working on choosing words better and also just changing my default speech patterns because change the way you think, change the way you talk, change the way you act and your life will change. So, it's part of the process. Let's hit this workout. We're going back from the gym right now, back home. Wow, this is a different angle before. There we go. So right back to the gym. <laughs> right back home from the gym. I got some footage there. It was really full, as I said before. And I, if I'm being honest, I'm still working on being comfortable filming in public. Like, it's awkward. I know people always say that, but until you try filming yourself, like working out when no one else is, it's hard. And also, it's not just that, it's that I, get a better workout in when I'm not filming. Because I'm not thinking of how can I get the shot, I'm, how, I'm thinking of how can I make the best workout. The workout though was kind of rough, just because I am under the weather right now. So I only was deadlifting like 280, something like that. So not that good, but I'm taking it a little bit easier myself because I am feeling under the weather and I actually may say it out of school tomorrow uh, because actually half my class is sick right now. My class only has eight people, but half of us are sick. So I'm like, how much will actually go on? It's not just that, it's also like, I'm just not feeling the best right now. If you can't tell, like <laughs> I do not, I usually have a lot more energy than this, but I, I'm gonna get home. I'm supposed to get the book I'm reading. I was gonna start with that one, uh, Never Eat Alone, that's the name of it. But then I realized that's not the mind space I'm in right now. I'm not in the networking mind space. I may save that more for when I graduate, um, that book of the week around then, or when I start college, or start whatever season of my life is next. Because that's what I really think building relationships is gonna be key. So I think I'm gonna place that book a little bit farther down the line. And I think I'm gonna start with a book that's pretty foundational, that's very, very popular across the board of personal development. Like, I've read it before, or not, I didn't read it, I listened to it, but this time I'm gonna really like go through, pull out key principles, etc. But it's the subtle art of not giving a fuck. That's the book I'm gonna be going through. And they're like, whoa, a weird title. It's really about just like not going with the herd mentality and developing your own systems of thought and own beliefs. Like, and also a big theme in it that I definitely concur with is not 
basing your life off of the desire for pleasure. And instead, base it off of the desire for an end result. Where people are all, the one part of it is all common misconceptions that people have. And one of them is like chasing pleasure. And that part stuck, stuck out to me. I want to go over that part again. But that really stuck with me. I was like, that's how I've always thought. Like, I will sacrifice the pleasure of watching movies right now, eating sugar right now. I'll sacrifice going and hanging out with friends every single weekend so I can get the end goal of living my dream life with my dream people around me, with my dream wife, dream friends, family. I'll sacrifice the short-term pleasures now for the long-term success. That's just how I've always thought. So, man, I love these little sessions. I love talking to... Um, I just love talking in the car. It helps me process. I am a verbal processor. I talk. I figure out what my next steps are best when I'm talking to others. I'll do this all the time with my mom. We're like, we'll just sit down and talk uh, through issues, next decisions, etc. And she'll just ask questions or she won't even ask questions half the time. Half the time, I'll just talk for like 15 minutes straight. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot of clarity. And then she'll come in and be like, okay, here's how this thing this is my approach on this. It may have been a little bit extreme there. Here's this. Also, extremeness, I lean towards heavily. We'll probably hit on this another time. But, or why not now? I'll run a quick version. So, I think that by trying to balance your life constantly, you actually live a life that is very unfulfilling. That by constantly trying to balance your, like family time, workout time, friend time, fun time, work time, etc. Try to balance it all, make it so it's not... Um, one is not dominant. I think that people live very, like, just like uneventful lives because of that. Because I think to get good at any one thing or to excel in anything, you have to go fully into it. Like, if I want to build a business, I go fully into it. Fitness, fully into it. If I wanted to build relationships, I need to go fully into it. And I can't play 50 50 with it. But depth of life, I feel like, not fair. Depth of life, I think, is a key word keywords, difference, mind, whatever. Um, but the depth of thought and the depth of life is given when you dive deep into a subject or deep into a topic, deep into business, deep into relationships, deep into fitness. That's when the depth of life happens. And then from there, when you're really deep into something or like you level one thing up all the way, then all of a sudden you're able to, if this is real life, and you level one area of life up a lot, then you're able to pull everything else up with it. So let's say you start off with one thing, fitness all the way up, great. Now I need business all the way up, okay, great. But now that business and fitness are both all the way up, now oh, I gotta get my relationships up. Now that you bring that up also, of course everything will hurt, suffer a little bit, but overall it's just gonna all raise up because you go super deep into one thing and raise it up, and then super deep into another thing, of course this one will drop a little bit, like, if you worked on fitness, brought it all the way up, and then you worked on business, of course, fitness is gonna drop a little bit, but it won't go all the way back down here. It's gonna come, stay like here. And then you bring this up, and like, you know what? Business is doing good now. Now I'm gonna bring fitness up a little bit. Business may suffer a little bit, but it may not. Like, it's just the extremes of life bringing things up. That's kind of one of my philosophies for life. I'm back home. So I'm gonna get some reading in for the day and I have finished all the 75 hard challenges because this, where's my water bottle? This is my gallon and a this half gallon water bottle. This, I'm almost done with the second one of these plus I had another water bottle earlier this morning. So I've completed my gallon of water for the day. Gotta get my pages in, I've got the workout. I gotta get the progress picture and the pages in for the day and then I'm done. So, whew, I'm not gonna, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end this right now. If I have anything else, this video will be longer. But I'm going to end this right now. Thank you for watching. If you watched this way, this far, because, dang, like, thanks for watching my journey. And I can't wait to see what happens. Because, bro, the life is ahead of me. Life is ahead of all of us. we got to seize it. Continue moving forward. All right, see ya.